my best friend in college, he and I said, when we're 30, we're each gonna be in a position where we can buy a Porsche. But I look at that and I say, okay, you have a Honda Civic that has 113,000 miles on it that's completely paid off. I'm gonna drive that freaking Civic into the ground. When it dies, you'll probably see me riding around in a scooter because by then my kids won't need to be transported in a car seat. <laughs> What do you think that I could maybe do better so I could grow, grow faster and you know, more like exponentially, I guess, like within the company? I feel like... You could stop I, I, worrying about growing faster in the company. <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. Like, we... It's... People are too impatient. I've been working my ass off for 13 years, and I'm still not making anywhere close to what I want to be making. Nowhere close. I'm working, I'm grinding yeah. every single day, and I'm focused on what's gonna happen long term. I know that my, the people who stay loyal to me and the people who help me build this organization, they're gonna reap the benefits from the hard work that we pour in as a team. Well, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you're on this team. Thank you. I'm, I'm really, really happy to be here. This is definitely, it, it feels like a family, and I love being here. Good, I, I, I love, love your attitude, I love, your work ethic, I do believe that, you know, as long as you're willing to put in the work, you could have a really good career here. I mean, this place is going, we're going places, and I would love for you to be on the ground floor of that. I would love to be, yeah. It's... You know? Darius is one of our newer team members. I think it's interesting when I sit down and I find out what people want, um, you know, out of life and what they're trying to accomplish. And I've, I've noticed similarities, but it's very much like wanting things now. Like, okay, what do I need to do to, to grow within the organization now, now, now? And that's great. I'm so excited that he and others are very ambitious and want to grow within the organization, but it's not gonna happen tomorrow. You need to put in the time. You've only been here a few months. You need to put in the hard work into this position learn this position, execute this position to the very best of your ability, grow not only yourself, but the other team members around you, be a leader to the service department, do these things. Then, you know, as you've built that skill and it, have gained that experience, then we can focus on, you know, going to the next step and to the next step and to the next step. Um, it's just patience, it's patience. <laughs> My dad's giving me feedback. On the vlog, my dad goes, hey Colin, I was catching up on your vlog last night. I watched probably four to five of them in a row. And I noticed you have gotten in a habit of saying literally a lot. It's one of those filler words that gets uh, used unnecessarily by many people. Since you enjoy public speaking so much and doing the vlog, thought you would want to know. I'm really enjoying them, by the way. Keeps me up to speed with you and to a degree with Brad. Now, if I could get just get Tara to do a vlog. <laughs> okay, Dad, I'm going to try to stop using the word literally as much as I have been. It's literally going to be impossible, though. I know, literally. <laughs> so what's up next? We have a meeting with Adam from the Hillel Center. Well, we had met him when we did the vlog. We went to the selling factory. He reached out to me shortly after that and was like, hey man, I'd love to get together, just meet, maybe talk about some other ways we can collaborate. And then right after that, I'm actually, Angela, I don't know if you saw this, but I'm going to go meet with Dennis Berry I was gonna ask you, at 1230. Okay. So we're meeting with the UF Bookstore on campus. I want to put another scooter inside of the bookstore during back to school time. It's something that we've done uh, periodically, you know, with UF. If we could get it in there as all the traffic during football season and that sort of thing, back to school season, everybody going in and out of the rights union, passing our scooter, but also, you know, really using it as another avenue to, you know, build the, the helmet campaign. So we're meeting with them at 1230. Cool. A lot going on. What are the marketing tools that you currently use and have used successfully? Marketing past? tools? Yeah, in this, well, tools might not, but promotional or cross-promotion that you've used. I think previously. the best kind of stuff in order to accomplish a goal like yours, the best thing would be to, like, have, you know, we're going to give away this scooter. Okay. You know, here's a free, here's a free scooter. All you have to do to get, is go to this website, sign up, 
You're also going to get a free helmet when you sign, you know take take the pledge, saying that, and, and maybe that's part of the campaign. You know, put name, phone number, whatever contact information you need, and say I saw like I swear to always wear a helmet when if I win the scooter, I swear to always wear a helmet when driving. Yeah, so I'll, we'll come up with a plan. Maybe send something in a week. Yeah, does that sound good? Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys want to get back together, no, that would be awesome. Let me know. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for us. I said literally three times in the conversation. Yeah. In fact, it was funny. It was hard for me after I said literally to not like look at the think of well, yeah, not like look at you and be like. <laughs> Here, come on! I'll show you one of the coolest things ever. I'm willing to bet that this is the only college stadium in the United States that has scooter parking underneath it. Sure. I mean, it's always great and fun to see your business and name inside of a publication, especially one like the Alligator. It's, it's neat. Sorry, man, I'm just shopping while I was here. How you doing? Dennis hey, Perry. Nice I'm to not meet sure you. if we've met or not. No, I don't think we have. Well, come on down. So. I'll introduce you to Bob. Cool. He's our area director, so he's in charge of all three stores, like the law school, this store, and health science store. Okay. Excellent. And then I'm the manager of this store. Awesome. For a day where we know it's slow at the shop, I'm sure I'm sure they've had some stuff going on. But I could either be sitting at my computer, checking emails and doing that stuff, or I could be out meeting other leaders in our community, like, like Adam, and, and talking to the managers or the directors of the UF bookstore, trying to make things happen for when it is going to be busy, when there is going to be a lot of eyeballs there, when they do have hundreds of people walking through their bookstore. Hundreds, probably thousands. Especially on a game day. You know, and trying to strategically plan what do we want this to look like, but also making sure that we're gonna give them enough value. I wanna give them so much value that they're calling me next year. Say, hey, hey, when are we gonna do the scooter giveaway? Are we gonna do that again? Are we gonna do that again? Yeah. Making that relationship so tight. It's the collaborations, man. It's the uh, finding out what they want to accomplish, making sure they accomplish it, and then likewise getting something in return for, for doing that. And I'm not doing this for my own health. I'm doing this because I obviously want it to benefit us as well. I mean, if, if, if we were going to do something, I would prefer to do something completely unorthodox, completely outside of what you sell to everybody else. Like, I, it's just the way I market. I like to do things that are just, you know, that get people talking, completely different. Like, I love, you know, part of the bookstore thing that we're doing, like, we're going to give the scooter away on the air, like right before the football game, right before the Tennessee game. They have two hours where they're going to be on the air talking, you know, football talk leading up to it. And in that, we're going to give away the scooter where there's going to be a lot of ears listening, you know what I mean? And so that, that I know is going to be well worth the, uh, the expense of donating a scooter to that campaign. So great, guys. What's up, man? Oh, sorry, I'm stepping on your foot. My bad, bro. So, busy guy. Yeah, man. It's, it's been a crazy day. Yeah. Today was a very eventful day. There's a lot going on today. And it is currently 6:07 p.m. Um, I actually have a couple more hours of work. I'm gonna get on the computer. 
hash out emails, do follow-ups with everybody that I actually met with today. I think it's a good lesson. Anytime you meet with people, send them an email. Thank you, thank them for their time. Um, so I'll be doing that to to Adam and to Dennis and Bob over at the you know UF campus door and and um, send out my follow-ups and say thank you and catch up on all the stuff that I missed because I was out having meetings. So it was a great day. Thanks for following along. And I just give up on episode numbers at this point. <laughs> <laughs>